The blue line there is the industrial metals, the uh, yellow line is oil prices, and then the white line is the 10-year break-even rate, now above 2%. So you can see the impact of commodity prices on inflation. And then Mr. Trump attacks my commodity space. He said, looks like OPEC is at it again with record amounts of oil all over the place, including the fully loaded ships at sea. Oil prices are artificially very high, no good, and will not be accepted. Lisa. This is really important, and it shows sort of what we're dealing with. On one hand, this gives shale producers an opportunity to gain market share, right? So that should be positive for the U.S. Yes. But what President Trump is seeing is that rising gas prices, mm -hmm. the price at the pump, is eating into the incomes of middle and lower income Americans, and it's offsetting uh, the tax cuts. So you're basically having a tax on lower income people, including his base. This does not play well to him, and frankly, it slows the U.S. economy. So uh, definitely a tension starting to brew here, and if uh, Saudi Arabia is serious about continuing to cut output to get to the $80 a barrel uh, level, we're going to have some serious issues to deal with at home with the price at, at the pump. Thank you.